Hello, Virgo. This is a reading for a large number of people. And although when I pray and prepare, I ask each of you receives at least one message, it is for a large number of people. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if they want us to go ahead and do four more situations, and you know, we're gonna cover what this current situation is, current challenge, situation, challenge, what can be done to improve it, and then the outcome, what that will be if the advice action that's recommended is taken. I'm not gonna pick them up and move them a lot. That way we don't have to reshift and move them <laughs> a lot. And I do believe, let me make sure. Yes, okay, you guys can see them. Outstanding. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the funny thing is a number of these cards showed back up that were in last week's reading. So in order for us to all move forward, we probably should heed the recommendations and advice because you know, the angels are trying to help us. But the fact that we had so many cards show back up again, we're not really listening, taking that advice. So they're persistent, if nothing else. So the first situation we have up here is it's totally love related. It's totally romance related because we start off with nurture and it has a picture of a woman she's depicted she's sitting in the middle of a garden by herself her hand is raised up to the divine it is the number three which is the trinity so there's that divine connection and, and there's also the purple halo getting connected with the divine but what they're saying is is this situation people that are in this situation they aren't they aren't nurturing themselves they're not taking care of themselves you know they they say you should always tend to your garden in order to um reap rewards to have a a good harvest a very uh, harvest that's full of abundance so those of you that are in a situation you're not tending to yourself you're not taking care of yourself and it's because of a relationship it's because of a relationship that fell apart and a number of you are not happy about it you're, you're sad about it you're angry about it you're depressed about it and it has you stuck and in a large number of you what's what the problem is now is, is you're not taking care of yourself you're not connecting to the divine because you're completely stuck some of you you're stuck in sadness you're stuck in depression some of you you're actually becoming very bitter and angry about it not turning out the way that you would have hoped not the way turning out the way that you desired so so they're saying for a number of you it was a relationship that ended that was meant to have end because there are better things that you are destined for so it was a it was divine intervention that came in and you notice again you know you get purple crown chakra her hand reaching up to the divine it was meant for that to end in order for you to come into what you're meant to be with that person that's divinely lined up for you but you're not happy about that they're saying you're like shutting off that connection to the divine shutting off taking care of yourself and um they're saying a number it's it, just very sad very depressed isolated some of you, your thoughts have gone to anger bitterness so the challenge for you is to change your focus and it's number five so the challenge is to to take your thoughts off of that disappointment that sadness, that feeling that you lost something, to stop looking at it as though it was a failed relationship. Because oftentimes, you know, relationships don't turn out the way that we want. We'll feel upset, we'll feel rejected, we'll feel as if, you know, there's something that we did wrong. And that's not the situation at all. They're saying, for those of you in this situation, you knew it wasn't the right relationship. You knew it wasn't the right person. It was years in the making of finally ending this person that was not meant for you. It was only a lesson. But for you, the challenge is for you to get out of this state of mind because it's not healthy for you to continue to remain in this place of disappointment and sadness and loss and depression. And again, for some of you, it's turning into downright anger, anger at that person, anger at God, <laughs> anger at the world. But it's time to put those sorrows behind you. It's time to shift your focus. It's time to get back on a positive path it's time to prepare yourself for the happiness for that divine relationship that they have for you but the only way that you can take charge of your happiness is to shift your focus now the first card that we have at the top of there that is it says it is learning experience because again that person it was just a karmic relationship now for some of you you were married to them for some of you you were just dating long term but it was just a karmic relationship it was simply supposed to be a learning experience it was an opportunity for you to learn some life lessons learn some things about yourself for some of you come to a place of loving yourself it was really just to help you grow it was, help, it was to help you prepare to move forward to better things but you have to let it go you have to let that person go let those feelings go let that disappointment go because they're saying they're saying the majority of you you know that person wasn't right for you it's not like you're not letting them go because they're saying for the majority of you it's not like you're longing for that person to want to get back with that person but it's that you're holding on to that sadness that anger that depression that feeling of a, as though you're a failure and you're not 
It was just for you to learn to love yourself, learn some other lessons and move on. And for the very small number of you where you, you've still got this slight hope that things will work out, they're saying, let, let that person go. It's, it's not going to work out. They were taken from you. They were finally taken from you because there's something better, but you have to let go. Um, this picture shows this angel, you know, she's holding, she's holding a dove. And it's white, you know, signifying purity, love. So they're saying that you're going to have to free this in order to free yourself. Let go of this in order to free yourself. So you're going to have to let go of the depression. You're going to have to let go of the isolation. You're going to have to let go of all of these things, the sadness, the hope. Let it go. Accept it as a learning experience. And if you're able to do that, the outcome will be eight, which is moving on you'll be able to move on to those things that are meant for you. Because those of you that are in this situation, if you add up the numbers at the top of those cards you've got, this is a major arcana. This is a huge life changing thing. So when you come into the place of connecting with the divine and accepting that this was person was let go because it wasn't good for you, and you finally let it go and all the emotions and everything with it, so you move forward, it's going to shift your life for the better. But you've got three, five, and eight, which totals up to seven. Seven in numerology, um, if you look at Doreen Virtues, she has a book of angel numbers. I like to look at angel numbers a lot. But seven signifies letting you know that you are on the right path, that the divine magic, it's supporting you. It's opening up doors. It's opening up opportunities. So if you heed the advice and finally let go, 100%, all of the emotions, all the depression, all the anger, even that person, if you truly listen to that advice, let it go, you are going to be able to move forward to what is meant for you. You're going to begin a new cycle. You're going to get out of that stagnant, that stagnation, and you'll get into a relationship that feeds your soul, a relationship that's rewarding, a relationship that's um, mutually beneficial, where you'll be able to be yourself. You'll be able to feel free. You'll be able to have fun. You'll have that bliss. You'll have that joy that you, that you didn't have with that person that you had to let go of anyhow. But they're encouraging you to finally accept it as a learning experience and let go. Set yourself free. And if you can do that, beautiful things will happen. Now, situation number two is five. It is challenging times. Now, this is a spiritual card. I don't know how well you guys can see the colors, but it's purple. So the cool thing about, you know, John Holland's deck, this deck of cards, is that it's also aligned with the traditional tarot. But he brings them into like that top row of the green, that's emotions. This is, you know, spiritually connected things. So a lot of you, so those of you that are in this situation, you're going through a lot of changes. Not just one change, but huge changes in multiple areas of your life. And it's, it's spiritually led. So these cards that are purple, they're, they're spiritually led. So you don't have any control over it. And for a number of you, it's just too much that it's starting to become overwhelming, unbearable for you. But at the same time, you're feeling stuck because there's nothing you can do to change it. But you can. They're just taking you through these. And, and the top of the card is five, which you know signifies changes. I mean, you're just going through. Those of you that are in this situation, you just have a lot going on at one point, at one time. They are shaking everything apart and shaking everything into place all at once. And it's just overwhelming. And you look, he's kind of looking up. <laughs> overwhelming that you're looking up like, are you there? Have you forgotten about me? Are you going to help me? Your challenge is to get assistance. That's a card reach out. And, you know, it's got this girl pictured and she's sitting on these hands and, you know, she's just kind of looking away. She's sad. And although those of you in this situation, you know, you're very capable, you're very competent, you're very strong. You've had to be strong for a while to bring all these changes to the point where they are currently. And, it, and it's been a struggle. You've been doing your best. You, you have been achieving things. But it's to the point that this being overwhelmed is bringing a sense of sadness, frustration, and, and it's starting to cause blocks. So they're saying your challenge is to accept help. To get help because that's what you need right now because right now you're not feeling as though you have any help she's she's by herself so you're feeling isolated you're um you're feeling as though you're having to go at it alone but you don't have to what you can do to improve the situation you have the card you found it and for those of you in a situation where you're just overwhelmed you've got so much going on you've had some ideas you've had some inner guidance you've had some feelings for some of you you've had friends that have volunteered and offered to help you you've had family that have offered to help you accept that help you don't you don't have to go at this alone that help is being offered for you accept it it doesn't mean you're not strong it doesn't mean you're weak it's it means you are at a breaking point and you've been praying for help god and the angel's trying to give you that help accept it so you can more gracefully and easily navigate through these changes because you are near the end of it. 
But in order to expedite it, to get things moving along as quickly and gracefully as possible, you're going to have to accept some help. And you're also going to have to trust that God and the angels are bringing you help. And if you can accept that guidance, that information, that help from friends, uh, maybe you're being guided to hire a cleaning person. Maybe you're being guided to hire a personal assistant. Maybe you've got friends offering to help. Accept that help. Take the action. Hire some help. Because what you're going to find is if you do that, the last card that you have is the outcome. If you do those things, you have heal. Which for you, they're saying that if you are, if you accept that help, if you listen to that guidance and take the action to hire help, whatever the method is to get yourself some assistance while you're going through all of this, if you are open to receiving, because if you look in this card, his arms are open. So if you act on that, you're open to receiving it, the help is going to come to you and you're going to break yourself free from the chains that bind you. Because right now you just feel stuck. For some of you, you feel like you're drowning, almost as though a weight has been anchored via chain to your ankles. It's just pulling you underneath water. If you look, there's a bunch of you know blue around there. There is a blue cross in his chest. And again, they're saying this is, this is spiritually guided. So all these changes that are happening to you are being done by God, angels, universe. They, they're making these things happen for your better. When you total those numbers up, 17, three, five, that's also seven. So the same as the, the, the people that are in situation number one, you're on the right path. This is meant to happen. And you're surrounded by divine assistance and magic that's trying to help make these changes, open these doors, give you all these new opportunities. It's not fun right now, but they're also providing you the help. So if you can accept that help, you will break free of those chains. You will no longer feel as though you're drowning. Um, and you will be able to get that heavy weight off of you so that you can realize your hopes, your dreams, you can get there a little more swiftly and with a little less stress. And they're saying, they're saying it'll be a smoother ride instead of being so bumpy. So just be open to receiving the help. Now, situation three that we have. Now, you guys, when I was pulling cards to find out what can be done, two cards fell at the same time, move and then commitment. So we will go over them in that order. Now, just totally near your cards up for the numbers. Um, you have nine, nine, one, four, so five. So this is all about love. So those of you that are in situation three, this is huge, significant change for the better for you and your love department. So you start off with open up and it's read it's physical. So in his cards, you know, this is, you know, related to things in the physical. So there's a number of you because of past hurts and things that have happened to you. You have totally withdrawn from other people. A number of you, you have a, a relationship that's sitting there that's waiting for you to move forward. You're, but you've completely shut down out of fear, out of worries, out of doubts, but it's keeping you from fulfilling your desires because you've totally closed yourself off emotionally. You've totally withdrawn. For some of you, you've become so withdrawn that you've even withdrawn from friends and family. So they're saying for some of you, sadness. So they're very, very well, maybe some of you in situation one that you're also in situation three because sadness, um, relationships that fell apart in the past, past hurts have caused you to be stuck. Fear. You're saying even that is from past relationships because you don't want to have to go through those hurts again. For some of you, you don't want to feel like a failure again, but, but you weren't a failure. That So for those of you that have these because of past relationships, you did everything you could. It just wasn't meant to be. But it's time for you to let that go and open up your heart because the more you open up, the more you're able to receive what's meant for you. Now, the next card that they have here is base chakra it's it's one that's talking about you know obviously the color red <laughs> they're talking about your heart but you know your base chakra is talking about you know the, the things that you have physically the earthly things and this situation you know your home your stability your finances so for some of you you're closed up because you know this ex spouse ex-partner really did one over on you in finances so you're afraid to move forward with this divine person that's been lined up for you because you're afraid you're worried about finances they're saying for some of you you're afraid that that person would only be interested in you for finances but but that's not it that's for those of you on this path you've been taken down this path for a reason the divine is not going to line you up for, with someone that's not meant to be for you. So those of you, they're saying those of you that are in this situation, you know that person's been divinely lined up for you. You know the person has been removed divinely. Trust. Trust. 
open you up your heart, trust. For some of you, the finance part, like you're worried about being able to provide. You're worried, am I gonna be able to provide for a family, provide for this person? So the challenge that you have to overcome are those fears, that doubt of being able to provide, that doubt of being in fear of being taken advantage of. So you have to overcome those fears, those worries that are keeping your heart closed up because it's time for you to move forward. So it's funny, the things that they recommend to do in order for you to move forward, the first card you have is move. Because also with the, the root chakra, what gets the root chakra going is, you know, people can wear red, <laughs> they could go see a healer, but physical movement helps open up that chakra. So dancing, walking, hiking, doing anything to move your body we'll get that going, we'll get things moving forward. Now, so for some of you, it truly is physical movement, but they're saying for a number of you, you're going to have to do something because you're stagnant, you're not moving forward, you're just stuck in your fears. Isolation, unhappiness, you're gonna have to do something, you're gonna have to move forward. They said they've given you all the signs, they've tried to give you all the nudges. You have to trust and move forward, do something. For some of you, contact that person, reach out to them, trust. For some of you, it's going to be physically moving to a new home. Because for a number of you, they, they have someone already lined up for you. Those of you in that situation, you know who it is. Move forward with that person, contact that person, trust. For some of you, they're saying it's a, a spiritual thing, like that person is a divine partner for you. They are your home. It is time for you to move back home with that person that you're meant to be with but you're gonna to have to do something for it. There will have to be some physical movement, some physical conversations, some physical um, contact, but you can trust moving forward in that direction. Now, for some of you, the second card that had come out is you're gonna to have to make a commitment because you know, you've experienced all these difficulties, fears, challenges, things that have happened to you in the past that are really making you worried about this decision you've been grappling with. So they're saying a number of you that are in this situation, you know who this person is that you're being guided to be with. You know that that person is a divine partner, or you've felt connected to them, you've got umpteen synchronicities and signs. It's undeniable that that's your person you're meant to be with. But because of your fears, your worries, your doubts, you're stuck in depression and sadness and uh, fears and, and all these things that are in your head that aren't true. But they're saying you can move forward with this person. They're saying that it's, it's time for you to move forward and commit to this person. Now, for some of you, they're saying, you know, by committing to this person, you're committing to yourself. And that commitment for some of you, it, it's going to bring about the family that you desire. You'll wait, you will also be going home to that person you're meant to go home to. But you're gonna have to make a commitment. You're gonna have to commit to yourself of knowing, you know, I deserve that. I'm worthy of that. You know, I am an amazing wife. I'm an unbelievable husband. So even though someone in the past told me that wasn't true, I know that it is true. So I'm gonna to commit to this person that I am divinely guided and meant to be with because that's where my future is. That's my home. That's where I'm meant to be moving forward with. That's where my, for some of you, that's the person you're gonna have a family with. But they're saying it's twofold. You have to commit to yourself to know that you're worthy of that and deserving of that. And you're gonna to have to make a commitment to that person. And if you can do that, your outcome will be, it's, it's nine and you know, it's got this guy standing on the top of the pillar. Let me, yeah, you guys can see that, good. And on the bottom it says, well-deserved reward. So you're gonna have that satisfaction. You're gonna have that happiness. You're gonna have that bliss. Everything's gonna fall into place. And, and this relationship that falls into place is gonna be so easy. You're not gonna have those challenges. You're not gonna have that difficulty that you've had the past. You're gonna have unconditional love. It's going to be effortless. You're gonna feel confident in that. You're gonna feel bliss, which you've not felt. Many of you haven't felt that at all in this lifetime. And a number of you have only seen glimpses of it, but you're gonna have that all the time. Oh, they're saying at the top of your game. So some of you, you're gonna feel as though you are on the top of your game. And you're gonna be bummed. They're saying some of you are even gonna be bummed that you waited this long. Like, really? I put this off? What was I thinking? Um, but go for it. Go for it. it. It's a sure deal. Now, when you look at Nine, I think it's funny because he's kind of like illuminated. And same thing, he's kind of got this cross going through him. And like Doreen Virtue, if you look at her book, you know, Nine's, it, it's talking about, you know, people that are light workers. They're here to do things to help others, to help humanity. So by you opening up your heart, moving forward with this person, you are going to open yourself up to your divinity. You are going to not only have the love of a lifetime, but you're going to start doing what you're meant to do to help people here, to to help people succeed, to help people heal, to
to just do things to serve and help humanity. And, and, and then I, you know, it's talking about you, you've done everything that you've needed to do to prepare for this. It's big, it's huge. So stop procrastinating and start taking the action steps. And they'll help you with that. Now, situation number four, okay, is this one's also love related. And, you know, you start off, it's a major arcana, zero trust. And it's talking about taking a leap of faith. So, so what they're saying is, it, for, for those of you in situation four, it's time for you to, to trust, to have faith, to know that the path that you're on is the path that you're meant to be on. Because you've been guided. So some of you, you've gone through huge changes that have aligned you for this. Now they're saying it's love. Okay. Sorry for those of you who are trying to start a business or whatever. I'm <laughs> trying to connect it to a business, but they're saying this. Okay. They're saying this is love connected. So for those of you, you've got this love of a lifetime. You've got this person, but you know, you, you're afraid, you know, you've lacked the courage. You, you've been hesitant. They're saying, take the leap of faith. Take the leaf of faith, you know. It's time for action. It's time to seize the opportunity. And that takes courage. But they have your back. They've been lining everything up for you. You've had tons of signs. It's time for you to take that important leap of faith and pursue your dreams. And pursue your dreams of the heart of love, of those things that you desire and that you deserve. Because it's been a long time in the making. And you're there. You just have to jump. Just take the jump. That's it. They've lined everything else up. Now, the second card you have is coming together. It's two. Um, it, it's a card of emotion. And, and again, they are pointing out this is a major arcana. So if you take that leap of faith, if you jump, it's going to change your life forever. Because of your fear in taking the leap of faith, you're trusting that this is meant to be. You're trusting that everything's going to work out perfectly, effortlessly. You're not coming together with the love of your lifetime. This harmony, this joy, this bliss, this romance, this partnership, love of a lifetime, it's waiting for you. But you're not coming together because you're not taking the leap of faith, because you're not trusting that God really has lined something amazing, miraculous up for you. So you're staying stuck in unhappiness. Now, in order to get out of that, they're saying, because you have the card mother. So there's a number of you that they're saying that there have been some emotional upsets, some things with your mother that need to be healed. Grief, anger, worry, um, concerns over her. So by healing that, for some of you healing long-term patterns with your mother, you're going to be able to free yourself so you can move forward for and so that you can receive. So, you know, the feminine energy is all about receiving receiving gifts, receiving blessings, being open to receiving. So by, you know, healing these mother issues, concerns, worries, you will be open to receiving that which is meant for you. You'll be open to receiving this love of a lifetime. You'll start to love yourself. You'll have an increased self-esteem. You'll heal your heart. So they're saying that if you can focus on healing those concerns, worries, doubts, fears, past patterns with your mother you will heal your heart and you will be open to receiving this love of a lifetime that's been waiting on you and you won't have that fear of taking that leap of faith any longer because for some of you it's it, it's a pattern that um has made you doubt your worth maybe um maybe you had an overly critical mother Maybe she was overly critical of everything that you did. So here you've got this, this love of life type. And for some of you soulmate, some of you twin flame, you've got this person that you know undeniably is that person that is meant for you. But because of those deep-rooted fears, because of having such an extremely critical mother has made you down deep, think that you're not worthy of something that good. So by focusing and healing that, you're going to heal your heart. You can take that leap, jump to be with that person you are destined to be with. And some of you, they're saying you'll, you'll have a son. You'll conceive and have a son together. Um, now, when you total these up, you've got four, two, zero, six. And uh, angel numbers, it's talking about don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's meant to be. It's destined. There's just a little something that needs to be done by you. And, and when you worry, you actually decrease the effectiveness of your prayers. You cause blocks. You slow things down. So don't worry. It's all being watched over by the heavens. You just need to... Ask them, what exactly do I need to do now to heal this, to remove this, to let those things go? So I do wish you all the very best, and I would love to hear any feedback that anyone has. Thanks to everyone for subscribing. Thank you for your comments, and uh, with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.